I'd like to tell you a story. It's about this um, teacher, this uh, Indian teacher, in Vedic tradition, who was in discourse with um, a uh, mathematician, professor, professor, and uh, he asked his professor, "Is there such thing as an absolute?" And the professor said, "No, I'm a scientist. There's no absolute." And he said, so you think everything changes? And he said, yes. He said, you just made an absolute statement. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted to make, say to you is that um, your music has been made a lot of changes over a period, long period. Um, but the absolute is the fact that you still maintain your title mm -hmm. of the group, despite the fact that um, the nature of the music has changed. What is the nature of the music? What do you think it is? Evolution. I think the, the, the process of moving forward and of expressing new ways is um, as valid now as it always was, really. I think we've just got bet more honest and more better at it these days than we were to begin with. When we, when we began, we were playing a certain style of music in a certain way for other reasons, and I guess we stripped those reasons away, and now we're... See, I don't think I was doing it for any different reasons. I just, you know, I play guitar now for the same reason I did when I was 12 years old. Um, the music's changed because we just became more skilled and more open-minded and started to broaden the horizons. You know, became better at writing chord progressions and, you know, more, you know, and, you know, you become a bit more experienced. And obviously... Um, Personal changes make a difference, you know, it's philosophical changes, personal changes. Uh, but the absolute has always been the energy to create, just that fire in the belly. You, you want to do it, you feel you have to do it. Uh, you play, and it feels right to play, it feels right to do it. Um, and it's, it, there it is, you know, it's just changed because it's a natural process. We, you know, grew up. We just grew up, you know, we grew up, simple as that, you know, and um, I love it. I think the new stuff is uh, very, like, panoramic, it's like a 360-degree view. It takes in a lot of different elements, and um, it's lovely, I, really, I think it's, we found our feet, and it's the best uh, time that it's ever been in the band, is now. Which bodes well for the future because it's once you do something once you reach reach a certain level you realize that there's uh that's now you've raised that bar you've raised the standard now and there's no slipping below it you have to keep progressing forward and improving it would be trite to say that we're not we are we are 10 times the band that we once were you know we are at our musical peak at the moment creative peak at least uh, yeah. Is it a peak or? Well, we see where we go from here. You never know. It's I mean, an arc. The future, you know, doesn't even exist. You know, right now, this time, this year, is the best time it's ever been to be in the band. It's the most joyous, the most creative, the most the most fun. Um, the best relationships, uh, the best concerts. Uh, best album, the best reviews, you know, which I, I like to read the reviews. Yeah, it's nice. And, um, and long may it continue, you know, and it, you know, it'll go where it goes. You know, I don't feel under great pressure to, uh, to match it or continue. I just feel confident that the songs that are coming next are just as good and um, that we'll probably do something a bit more special even next time. A bit, you know, get a little bit better at it if we can. So you are still rediscovering? Always, yeah. Like Danny said, there is only really the moment in life anyway. You can't really plan too far ahead. So, But if, you, if you're creating, then what I like to do is focus completely on the idea itself, not what I think the idea is, what other people want the idea to be. Just let the idea speak for itself and allow it to find its own conclusion and then 
um, and then you know you're okay and then it's really you're kind of bulletproof no matter what you know your audience or anybody else is going to think of it because if you know you have it right then um, then it speaks for itself and you know and I'm fine with that I'm absolutely fine with that no matter what the reaction and what I like about it is when people come up and say it's making an impact on their life on their energy systems you know on their feelings about life you know about feelings about themselves and it's it, it's it's having an impact on that level to some people it's opening them up a few people uh, you know to uh, I think it was yourself actually who introduced me to a, to a writer who said um, true art comes from a deeper place within and that deeper place that, that, that um, energy hangs on the music like a perfume the notes hang you know the, the magic that the music comes from the magic space that the music comes from if you like the magic water or whatever the light from which that music emanates hangs on the music like a perfume and you can almost smell it you can taste it you can it's like it's 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 not you, you, you hear it but it, it interacts with your energy system and what it does to some people and what it does to me is it takes me to the place within in which that place exists within me. So if I hear the music of, say, Sigur Ross or Johan Johansson, and I hear that magic hanging on his music, I go within and, and it, it, it wakes up that place within me, through, and I, I take my own personal path to get there. And that's what happens with the fans of the, next, the last album. It's waking something up within them. Some of them are writing saying that they're listening to it 10 times a day and it's, awakening parts of them that they didn't know they had and there are the, we're getting letters like this by the hundreds you know and that like is really what it's about you know because for me to say I don't care what people think is just as ego full as saying I really care what you think I'm just trying to defend myself I think it's beautiful and it is and I love it and I love that reaction that people have when they feel good